Welcome to this episode of our breakdown, the cybersecurity incident response playbook put out by the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency. I'm Justin Tolman here with Xtero. And in this video series, we're going to take a look at the playbook and we're gonna break it down into its six key stages. This series will be eight episodes long and we'll be releasing them once a week, every Monday, for the next eight weeks. So be sure to tune in to this series as we'll be covering a lot of information and how it's important to your organization. The breakdown of the episodes will be as listed here and the dates you can check out so you can set yourself some reminders, but be sure to subscribe to the channel and that way you'll be notified when the episodes are released. This is episode one, and we're gonna go over the incident response playbook as an overview, taking a look at it. Then in episode two, we'll talk about the preparation phase, then we'll move on to detection and analysis, then containment, and so on as we move through. Coordination is the last step within the CISA playbook, but episode eight is going to take a look at how to apply FTK to the CISA playbook to make sure that you are in compliance with the playbook and that you have the strongest implementation possible, FTK provides a lot of solutions to a lot of the steps that we'll be talking about over the next eight episodes. So be sure to check out the whole series. All right, so let's jump into the overview of what this playbook is. But first off, let's talk about who is the Cybersecurity Infrastructure and Security Agency or CISA. CISA was founded in 2018, so they are a newer government agency and they're tasked with understanding risk, helping to develop means to manage that risk and also facilitate communication between the different government agencies. So CISA works with agencies such as NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, the executive branch of course, and as well as the Bureau of Budget Management to develop playbooks, facilitate that communication among other things within government agencies. So how do they understand risk? So again, they're working with various agencies to determine what is the most risk to the government agencies that they cover. These include many of your department of X agencies that run the United States government programs. By communicating with those departments as well as private industry professionals, service providers, etc., they better understand what are the threats to the information stored by these agencies. Of course, they assist in and are the primary distributors of developing means to manage risk. They work very closely with NIST and we'll see a lot of references to NIST throughout this playbook and the breakdown of each section. Why are we talking about this now? Well, the executive order activated CISA and gave them a deadline to develop a playbook outlining how to conduct cybersecurity investigations. Notice they were only given 120 days from the date of the order, which was back in May of 2021, and they were tasked with developing a standard set of operational procedures. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this series is that playbook. Now, one of the big things that they are focusing on is communication. You're gonna hear that a lot in the industry right now is increasing communication. And CISA has a lot of different tools that we'll talk about in a later episode for increasing communication among agencies, security providers, and vendors to make sure that we have the best chance of protecting ourselves from risk. So that's who CISA is. Again, 2018, so they're a newer agency, but they play a very important role in their publishing material that is going to have an impact on the way you conduct business if you work with the US federal government. So what we have here is the flowchart of the incident response playbook. Now, one thing I should say is that it is the incident response and vulnerability 
playbook that CISA has released that we're going to be pulling our information from for these videos. However, for the purposes of this eight video series, we're not going to focus on the vulnerability section of that. We will come back to that later. We are going to be focusing on incident response. So this is the flow chart. You can see the color coded areas of the chart as it moves through and then the breakdown of each section that those will fall into preparation, detection and analysis, containment, eradication, post incident activity and coordination. Each one of these will be broke down into an episode so that we can cover them fully. But this table will be shown in each episode as we move through the flow. One thing you should get used to is communication. That is going to be something that is hammered on in every single stage by CISA, and we will talk about it in the video, but we need to increase our communication within the industry. So who is the audience for these playbooks? Who do they apply to? Why are we talking about it? Well, straight from the documentation, these playbooks apply to all FCEB or Federal Civilian Executive Branch Agencies. These are these department ofs, except for a few different ones. Information systems used or operated by an agency, a contractor of an agency, or another organization on behalf of an agency. It is the policy of the federal government that information and communications technology, ICT, Service providers who have contracted with FCEB agencies must promptly report incidents to such agencies and to CISA. So even if you're not a federal agency, but if you do work with one of these federal agencies, this playbook for securing your network and your communication between these agencies will need to comply with the playbook dictated by CISA. So we're gonna talk about it and make sure that the way that you apply it is in accordance with the playbook, or at least that you can start to consider the impact of this playbook on your own infrastructure. Now, as we go through, we're gonna be talking about these stages, about the playbook and various incident response procedures. Just know that we'll be pulling from several different resources as we go through. I recommend getting a hold of these at some point for reference. If you deal with these agencies, it can help you out. So first off and foremost, the Cybersecurity Incident and Vulnerability Response Playbook. Okay, that came out in November of 2021. That's going to be what we're talking about here. Improving the nation's cybersecurity. Again, this was the executive order back in May that kind of started a lot of this discussion going with zero trust security and an increase in our incident response capabilities. Then we have Computer Security Incident Handling Guide, NIST 800-61 Rev 2, and then the Zero Trust Architecture document by NIST, also 800-207. So a lot of this stuff will come from these four documents. We'll break some of it down and give you a good idea of what is being included there. Okay. So that's been an overview of what we're going to do going forward and an overview of who NIST is, what the playbook is, and why we're talking about the playbook. In our next episode, we're going to jump in and we're going to talk about the preparation phase of the CISA playbook, why it's important, what's in it, and how you can apply it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week.